welcome along and welcome back to the old stream farm today we've got a little bit of stuff to do to get ready for the grape harvest um but it's mainly uh factory stuff we've got to do the chief one amongst them being our greenhouses now our greenhouses up here i'm glad to drive back down to get the trailer in a moment are now completely full of lettuce uh yeah we can't uh have any more on the outside we still are producing lettuce in here and i think there's a little bit more to get out uh if we have a look here yeah we're now storing a bit um seeds and solid fertilizer in fact i think our lettuce production is just about done looking at this yeah and we're, we're kind of out of enough seeds and fertilizer uh to really get much more out of here so in fact what i'm going to do is shut down the production of the lettuce in both of these uh now because we are going to unload everything we have on here and get them done i think we had yeah we've got 500 liters of lettuce left there and 500 left here so we're going to get at least one more pallet out each from here and that is going to be uh, really useful. That's going to be a massive amount of lettuce that we have today. So job, chief job to do today is to get all of this lettuce collected up and loaded onto our trailer and, and get the money in for it. We hook that up. We can bring this round and then we can go and get our little telly truck, load all of this up. And, uh, yeah, we're probably going to be stacking this quite high today. Uh, but this is going to be a massive windfall for us. Uh, there's probably about 50, 60,000 here, maybe. At least 30,000. Um, so if we can, if we can hit 150,000 here today from this, that would be amazing. Before I get started on that, that though, look at the state of my JCB. Um, we we're using this on the field to go and stack bales, and it is looking so mucky now. It's ridiculous. Uh, the other thing we need to do, actually, before we get started, and this is just because I already have the bale spikes on, is get the uh, sheep fed. They are running very, very low on hay. So we'll grab a couple of bales from here. And this is why we just sell everything when we're doing the contracts. Because we have a... Yeah, we have a large amount of hay sitting here. It's lasting our sheep for a very long time. And it's all good. I also need to check on exactly how much... Uh, wool we have in here and we've got four pallets of wool in here so we're gonna get want to get those delivered as well wow they took all of that uh but yeah that will be enough for them for today look at all so we've got a hundred sheep now um we've got uh 11 months 21 months 33 months and 16 months so uh yeah age of our sheep is all good and we're producing some good wool Somebody said to me uh, a little while ago that there's an age I should be selling the sheep at. Oh, we need to go and get the forks. And uh, I'm not, I can't remember what it was. So if there's an age, uh, if you guys can think of what the age I should be selling the sheep at, uh, where they start producing or less being less efficient at producing wool, please let me know in the comments. Uh, that would be very, very helpful. Right, we are heading up the top to our lettuce and we're going to go and get that all loaded in now as well. So like before, the plan here is to grab these two at a time. I'm expecting a single pallet to spawn once we pick these up uh, because as I said, there's just over 500 litres being stored in there. Uh, it's okay. Yeah, in fact, there we go. The single pallet has spawned. Let's grab the first two pallets off here, and then we can even things up by grabbing a pallet out of this side and a pallet out of the other side as well. These are the four hardest pallets to get onto this trailer. 
because of the end so once we get these on that makes things so much easier and now i just need to go and grab this one from over here the other one from the other side and that then will mean that we can go straight in and start picking up doubles from both sides end of the first row of lettuce going onto the trailer get that nicely lined up and on the back here there we are and perfect look at that and that hasn't made that big a dent in here uh we still got one two three four five so ten pallets on that side and one two three four eight on that side and we can fit uh one two three four on uh, on a level so we should fill another level of this and then after that uh we'll have two pallets left over those can go on top and uh yeah that will be a nice full trailer of this what is the current price lettuce like it's on the down um restaurant is 1637 4000 liters on one side 8000 liters 16000 liters um 17,000 liters I think in total on here so that is gonna be sort of 35 36,000 that is huge that is a massive amount of money we're gonna get to play with on here now because I don't want my lettuce production down for too long I think what we're gonna do is that as soon as we have got uh this all loaded up I want to demolish these greenhouses. I I don't want them kicking around too much longer. Um, and then we need to get some more fertilizer and some more seeds for them. So we're going to have to pop up to the shop and grab those. Uh, I want to drop off the wool at our spinnery as well today. Uh, we've got four pallets of wool. They will very nicely go onto our other trailer. And we can go and drop that lot off at the spinnery because we need to keep that spinnery producing fabric. And once we've uh, once we got a lot of fabric come the new year, we should be able to get to the textile shop as well. Last two pallets up onto here. Let's see if this will get in there. Nope, not quite. Little bit back. There we go. And then we can just strap those two down on top. And that is a huge amount of lettuce. Best price for lettuce right now is the farmer's market, which I think is this building here. So let's pull in. It's unloading. And there we go. Another 1,572. What is the total? Uh, 27,853. Which surprises me a little bit because I thought that was going to be closer to sort of 35,000. Now, though, I need to switch trailers. So we'll hook this onto the back of here. And this is much more realistically a car trailer as well. I'm not sure where my pressure washer is or even if I actually have a pressure washer on here. I thought I had one near to my fuel tank, but it doesn't seem to be there. Right, let's pop into here and it's so tight in this uh, in this space to get these bales out. I have to be a little bit careful. There we go. Uh, we actually now have five full pallets of bales, which I think six is our maximum for this trailer. And it's much better to load these up from this angle than it is from the other. I, I kind of wish they did uh, spawn in such a way that you could drive in those other double doors and and pick them up like this. And, and not have to pick them up from the side if you came in that way. But um, I can at least with this Teletruck maneuver around enough to uh, to get them. It is just that sometimes everything is just that little bit fiddly. I wonder how much stuff 
we've got created on here because we did sell a load of stuff to buy that Kubota tractor a little while ago those are nicely unloading yep there we go that is all unloaded how much we've got uh to three thousand liters of uh, fabric up here and how is this progressing we are currently we've got 21,000 liters of wool in here currently processing uh and it's a two to one so 11,000 liters of wool ish uh, so of fabric ish to come out of here with those two jobs done we can go and put our trailer back and out of the way i think it's time to look at how we're going to reshape this yard we got 127,599 pound and uh yeah where we're gonna spend that now is of uh the biggest interest to me we do need enough money to be able to get a harvester right we have a very large area of yard here that is unused um we are gonna put i think this is the thing it's a very large area that's unused there we also have a large area that's unused over here we what i want to do i think is fill in this patch and then we can extend this vineyard out into this space so we're gonna have to move this barn uh we're gonna have to move these as well so let's do that first and work out exactly where the best place to put our greenhouses is so under production greenhouses we have yeah these ones these are the ones we're using now ideally we want to make access to them as easy as possible we don't want to block off that so i could do it one here because the access i need is actually at the sides as we've discovered we could do a lot better if we had access to them from the sides so we could go there and there but doing that i actually think i look at this and go look at all this space we have up here we could put in two greenhouses one here and then one here and uh, and that space worked really well for us especially as this space is very flat uh, and then we can pull this area here out and and make that a lot flatter so first thing i'm gonna do is demolish this we're gonna take that out yes okay uh i am then going to spin around and we will demolish these because we don't need either of these uh 4023 each for our two greenhouses perfect right so that then means what i want to do is uh level this land out here and bring this across and I'm, the reason i'm doing this before i put the greenhouses in is because i want to see exactly how much space i have to put the greenhouses in so i want level terrain please and we want a fairly large bit and i think we probably want to change our shape i don't think we can okay so we're going to take it leveled from here how much is this going to cost us a lot of money an awful lot of money and it's not bringing up that corner so I've had a little look around and a little bit of an experiment and discovered that these plants all the way along here and here are what's causing my issue. Now, what I've done is I've gone and grabbed the Place and Terraform Anywhere mod and that should solve my problem. So let's take it from here and just pull out. And is it going to lift this? yes yes that is so that's good news we'll be able to fill this area in now you can see though it is going to cost us a lot of money to do this i think that's about 
3,000. Yeah, it's been about 3,000. So really what I want to do is pull it out to this point here, I think. So that it's nice and in line. And when we come to add our grapevines in here and sort that out, we'll be able to do that. Uh, and I think that will work fairly well. Um, but if I try and do it any further, that's going to cause a bit of an issue. Uh, let's just bring this bit back. So that that goes into that corner like that. Perfect. Yeah, it's not too bad. I'm uh, I'm happy enough with that. Um, but yeah, we're going to have to get a lot more money in before we can fully do that. And then I think looking at this, the place where I want to put the greenhouses is probably along the front here. So we'll go production uh greenhouses and these so i can fit one of these greenhouses here very nicely and it actually it really fits in that space well so uh yeah let's do that i need to move myself out of the way we'll go stand under this barn purchase that again production greenhouses so i could actually i think i can get three greenhouses in here um now I can put one over here. I think. Yeah, we could stick we could stick one here. We could stick one here, definitely. So I'm gonna put one in this space over here. Try and line it up as best I can. And in. Uh, I'm going to put the second one in the line with it here. Now, we do have a bush at this corner here, so this might cause us an issue. But no, because we've got the painted terraform anywhere. It's worked. And then I think we're going to put a third one so that we're not just moving our greenhouses, but we're increasing um, our greenhouses there. There we go. I think that's brilliant. So that now increases our greenhouse input output. Uh, we know that we can get... Oh, actually, that's quite a ridge coming onto there. Uh, we know that we will get a row on the uh, trailer for each one of these. Um, and I think actually I'm going to paint the ground so that it matches this pattern all along here. Uh, I think that would be a quite a good way to go as well. And maybe smooth this area out here as well. So purchase, uh, landscape, painting. That one is the color. I want to increase the size of it. And we'll go there, there. Need to move myself out of the way. There we go. Construction. Uh, landscaping. Perfect. Paint. And that. And then again, increase the size. Like so. And then we should be able to decrease the size a bit. Take that down the side of here as well. And then our greenhouses are all sitting on that. And then switch over to this. Or on here. Nope, that's the wrong one. That one. Yeah, there we go. And that on there. And then I can add some grass up the top here like this. And we'll need to plant a bit of grass, I think, to do that. Um, but now we should be able to get the uh, get our uh, vineyard expanded out this way and, uh, and around here with little problem. And exactly what I'm going to do with this space up here, I don't know yet. Um, but there are definite options that we can have. In fact, I think if we put this down here like this, that is going to be grand. Trees and plants. Uh, let's put some more bushes uh, dotted around here, I think. Just make sure that's a sort of a, a rough area at the top here without spending too much money. And look at that. That is our new area for greenhouses. We need to refill those now with some... Uh, oh, 
Actually, that needs to go out a bit further. Um, but we need to refill these now with some seeds, some fertilizer, and some water. And then job is a good one. And we will then crack on with this. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to do a little bit more of this. And then we're going to head up to the shop. And we're going to get some fertilizer and some seeds. And, uh, and we can sort the rest of this out. So, for our greenhouses, I think... We want uh, two bags of fertilizer and seeds each. So, actually, parking here is not a good idea. I want to park it over here. Uh, that way, when we get the bags out, we can easily load them on pretty much as straight as possible. So, let's head into the shop and grab some bags. So we want six bags of seeds. We can get eight max. So six bags. So two in each. Buy those. Okay. And six bags of fertilizer. Now, actually, what is the ratio? I think the ratio is actually two to one, isn't it? Uh, so I want to activate that. Activate that. And activate that. Uh, it is... Uh, Two seeds to one fertilizer for all of them as well. So, yes, we want uh, two bags of seeds, one bag of fertilizer each. And that's how we will start this off. All right, there we go. And that should get us going. And then we'll be able to buy more of these soon. Uh, we'll grab our Kubota front loader here. Uh, this little R640. Well, it's not our Kubota front loader. This belongs to the shop, of course. Um, but this will be enough to get these started and to earn a bit of cash to um, load them all up. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to get these loaded onto the trailer. And then we can then get back down to the farm with them. And... Uh, yeah, load up our brand new greenhouses and get them earning some money for us. Last one that we need to get on this trailer and get back to the farm. Fairly full trailer, actually, with these nine bags on here. But it's doing the job it should do. And there we go. This, as I was saying earlier, this Kubota... This R640, really stable, lovely bit of kit. It's like a mini wheel loader rather than a uh, than an actual front loader. Um, just, yeah, is very, very stable. And has a nice double wheel setup as well, if you, uh, if you want. So, uh, yeah, works really nicely for that too. Right, strap all these up. Let's get these back down to the farm and get the greenhouses loaded up. Bring this around. Oh, that's got a little bit bumpy there. I might have to even things out a little bit more because, yeah, that's one hell of a slope. Um, and we kind of want a bit of a more... Oh, wow, look at that. Yeah, we want a more even area here. Uh, let's grab the telehandler or the teletruck which is just over here. Start her up. And uh, we're going to take this over. And... Oi, there we are. And, uh, yeah, two things of seed. One thing of fertilizer for each of these. And then we need to add some... Oh, <laughs> this is so uneven. Uh, we need to add some water in here as well. Undo all of these. Like so. Bring this over here. I love the stability of this teletruck. It's, it's absolutely wonderful. Especially considering how awful the stability of this ground is. So that round here like that. There we go. And then two things of seed, and that will get that one started. Over here. Ah, oh, nope. Getting sort of 3D depth perception always been an issue in farm sim. But that's got it. Yeah, see, this will this will easily lift too, this little teletruck. 
which is brilliant. Even if it is very, very uneven. The question now is, can I fit three of these on here and not have the whole thing go on sort of face plant? That would be great because then I can get the last of these out and uh, and onto the last greenhouse. Push it forwards. Lift it up. Oh, it's not quite enough. Down. Out. And in. And we're off to the side. That's the trouble. That's why it's threatening to push that one over. Because, uh, yeah, I'm not under it. There we go. Oh, that's struggling a little bit. We need to pull this back. But, no, look at that. How amazing is this little teletruck? That is utterly fantastic. And we can then go and put all three of these bags straight in. And there we go. You can see it raising up as it empties out. Um, but we're not done yet. I need to go and get these out the way. And then we can uh, grab one of our tractors and get some water into here to get things finished off. So to get the water, I'm going to use the little Antonio Carrera tractor that we've got. Just see if I can oh, hook this up. I am cons well, I am thinking about the long term uh, or the yeah, the longevity of this tractor on here. Uh, we cover most of what this tractor can do now with the Kubota. Um, and to be perfectly honest, the thing I was concerned about before the uh, trimming with uh, needing a front three point we could probably do with the uh with our g series Vultra. if not somebody did say oh you can just attach it to the back which yeah is not a bad shout so i don't know we've got nearly 10 hours on this tractor anyway uh, what do you guys think? Do you think we should hold on to this tractor or do you think it should be something that we uh, we maybe look to to move on and uh, and and move to the the next thing? Because, yeah, we don't have anything in the shop. We, we, we worked that out earlier. Um, I don't know if there is a massive need for this tractor still on this farm. Uh, it seems a little bit superfluous to me at the moment um i'm gonna put a single tank's worth into each of these uh greenhouses and we should then uh, be able to get them up and running and uh, it'll work great from there let's unload that then and brilliant i am quite happy with how are we getting these set up? Let's get the next two done. And then we'll head back over and uh, finish up. Final load of water for the third one of these. Let's empty that out into there. And then that should get all three of our new uh, greenhouses up and running. Yep, we have happy lettuce in all of them, which is brilliant because now we are going to have more than enough lettuce uh, for us to deal with. Let's have a quick look in here. Yeah, we're in the green for everything. We are going to be using twice as many seeds as we are fertilizer. So that's perfect. Uh, water, we are going to have to put a lot more water in here, I think. Um, but that's fine. We can do that over the coming days. All in all, I am very happy with how everything is going on here. Uh, let me know in the comments. What do you think to our new setup for our greenhouses? Do you think this is a better position for them? And what should we do with the area of the yard, which we still have massively free and, and sort of open? I'm very much considering moving some of the sheds in a bit and then seeing if we can... Uh, create maybe another field out that way or something like that uh, for now though i am gonna leave this here which means all that remains 
is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, drop us a comment, and give it a share. Special thanks to all my patrons and channel members. Your support is invaluable in making these videos and helping the channel to grow. For more from Virtual Farmer, check out the links below, follow on Twitch to watch live, and for more videos, subscribe and ring that bell. I will see you next time. Goodbye.